Hi, this is question E from the short answer questions from the Oxford Maths Admissions Test from 2018. Uh, here we've got a circle of radius 2 centred on the origin. It is drawn on a grid of points, so I've turned my uh, grid mode on. Uh, for the background here, you know, if you've just got plain paper in the exam, you can easily draw yourself a grid. Uh, with integer coordinates, um, n is going to be the number of grid points that lie within or on the circle. Okay, so uh, now the first thing to notice here is that n is just a number that we can work out, right? There's nothing really algebraic about it. Uh, so, you know, if I've got a circle of radius 2, I'm very bad at drawing uh, drawing circles here, especially when I have the straight line tool uh, activated. Um, not that good even when I don't, but I've got C. Okay, it's, it's uh, something like this. All we need to know is kind of how many grid points are in here. Um, so lie within or on the circle. So I've got this one, uh, this one, 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 uh, this one, this one, all of these, and this one. Okay, right, so I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so n is 13. Right, so n is just 13. Right, so let 13 be the number of grid points that lie within or on the circle. What is the smallest amount the radius needs to increase by for there to be 2n minus 5 grid points within or on the circle? Okay, well, 2n minus 5 is now just 60, uh, 26 minus 5, so it's just 21. Okay, and actually you can see, if you think about increasing the radius of the circle, uh, we are going to, uh, you know, there's a lot of symmetry here, maybe not in the circle that I've drawn, but if, if it was a real circle. Uh, so actually certain grid points will all be added at the same time so if i gradually increase the radius right well this as soon as i get the net you know the next grid points this one this one this one this one this one this one and these two here will all be added at exactly the same radius they're all the same distance from the origin uh, so i'm actually going to get those eight all at the same time and then you realize actually this question isn't as hard as it looks because 13 plus 8 is 21 so when will there be 21 grid points? Well, it'll be when the radius is exactly the distance to get to, to get to one of these points. Okay, so it's just uh, just uh, two across and, and one up. So I've got a, a triangle uh, like this. So by Pythagoras, the um, uh, the radius of that will be the square root of two squared plus one squared, so the square root of five. And it says, how much does the radius need to increase? Well, it's already two. So it's going to have to increase by root 5 minus 2, and then it'll be root 5. And that's the answer. Okay, so mm, probably takes a few seconds to get your head around what's going on in this question. But once you have, and you realize that actually there's not really any algebra in it, it's just a, n is just a number we know, it's a bit easier. Okay, I'm going to put all these uh, videos into a playlist. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, hopefully they're useful, and you can see all of the others uh, in the playlist as soon as I've made them and uploaded them.